Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. I'm Christina. Today um, I have another pick a card for you. This is going to be for my singles. Um, just love messages. Let's just see who's coming towards us. Um, maybe what we can expect, you know, in the near future. So before I get started, I always send out some healing. So everybody take a deep breath with me in through your nose and out through your mouth. And then we'll pick our pile. Okay, so um, I chose all rose, different rose quartz today because rose quartz is always good for helping us um, to find love. You know, it's help. It's good with self love, but it's also good to help. You know, bring love towards us. So we have the big one. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Um, the big rose quartz down here with pile one. We have the raw quartz, raw rose quartz. For pile two. We have the smaller, whiter um, rose quartz for pile three. And I don't know if you can see these, but we have two little rose quartz beads because I couldn't find another rose quartz. Um, oh, you know what? My pendulum's one of my pendulums right there, and that's rose quartz. I could have used that. But whatever, we have the little two small beads for pile four. So, um, you know, take another deep breath. Pick the pile that really calls to you, and uh, we'll get some numbers. We'll get some angel numbers, and then we'll get um, some messages. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, pile one, I'm grabbing your angel numbers, and I will um, post the meaning in the comments after I post the video. You have an eight. One, a six, and a three. Okay, so your number for today is 8163. And like I said, I'll post it in the comments. I'll be right back with Tara. Okay, pile one with the big rose quartz. This is your messages let's see what we got we got six of cups i know it's a six of water but strength the chariot eight of cups eight of waters eight of cups and Five of fire, which is five of wands. Okay. So let's see here. Six of cups is the nostalgia card. This is um, thinking about the past. Maybe with the strength there, you're you're thinking about um, you're wishing things could go back to the way that they used to be. Yeah, I feel sadness. So, um, I think I think you're yeah. I think that you. All right, let me just <laughs> let me just go this one by one. Six of Cups is you're thinking about the past. Strength is you have the strength to overcome whatever sadness or heaviness you're feeling about it. The Chariot is fast moving energy. So something happened really fast. Um, Eight of Cups is walking away from something. So you got to walk away from something. And Five of Fire, Five of Wands is um, bickering and fighting. So I think that you walked away from a situation. Um, There's a lot of bickering, a lot of fighting. And it just wasn't making you happy. And so you, you felt the need to walk away. But you're kind of sad because you wish that, you know, things could have been like they were before in the beginning or the way that they were in the past or I don't know you're, you're feeling very nostalgic um, but they're saying that you have the strength to get through this or you have the strength to do what's right for you 
But I feel like this happened really quickly with the chariot here. All right, let me grab a, let me grab some clarifiers. Let's see, uh, let's see if we can get a bigger picture here. Something is hidden from you. There's something you don't, you're not seeing. I don't know what that is yet, but there's something you're not seeing. Ah, well, oh, Page of Swords, Page of Michael, it's Page of Swords. This is starting something new, new ideas, new beginnings. This is learning something. So either you're learning more about the situation or something new is coming in for you and you just don't see it yet. Maybe you just like, you know, don't see how it could happen because of the way you're feeling right now. But Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is, all right, I'm trying to get a feel of whether this is your energy or the person coming in. Um, but the Queen of Pentacles has it all. Um, you know, this is somebody who earns a good living, who, who takes care of her family, who enjoys her material wealth. Um, and this could be male or female, doesn't matter. Um, I don't know. If this is your energy, this is saying that you've reached like a high level of desirability and um, you're going to meet somebody. You're, you're, this person coming in is going to feel like you're a catch. Or you're going to feel like this person is a real catch, whoever's coming in. Knight of Michaels or Knight of Swords. This is somebody who comes in really fast. So with the chariot, that, that make, makes a lot of sense. Um, you know, I think this is like, um, a new partner's coming in. I don't really think that you have to do anything special to attract that. I think that they're coming in, whether you want them to or not. I think you're, you're really desirable right now. And this partner is going to come in pretty quickly. The high priestess. Okay, so that's saying use your intuition. That's saying, um, you know, make sure this is who you really want. Sometimes, um, you know, sometimes the, the night rushes in, but he doesn't really have like a plan. So, you know, maybe they, he doesn't always think things through so um and like i said it could be male or female doesn't doesn't matter um so i think that the high priestess is saying just make sure this person coming in is what you want is what you know don't don't rush into something because you're sad because you've walked away from something and you're alone now um just be careful but I'm also getting the feeling like you could be like meeting in secret with this person. Like maybe they don't want anybody to know. And maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe they're involved. Yeah, I don't know. I'm worried about this a little bit. All right, let's see. Let's grab some uh, moon cards. Adjustments are required. Hmm. Maybe your way of thinking, maybe because you're sad and they're saying that you need to like adjust your thinking and the way you feel a little bit to get out there. Like you are desirable right now. So believe in that. Believe that there's going to be somebody else, somebody better for you. 
a time to release the negativity. Yeah, so let go of any old resentments or any heartache or any negative feelings towards yourself, I'm feeling. Like, I think you're feeling unlovable or that you've done something wrong. You know what? Why do I keep attracting the wrong people is what I'm hearing. The wrong, wrong partner. Um, you know, sometimes we just have to, to, to have bad partners because that teaches us what we don't want. So we know what to look for and what to ask for for what we really do want. Balance spirituality and practicality. Okay. So, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure that was the mailman. Um, I just paused it so he could settle down for a second. But anyway, I think this is say, this card is saying, don't be so logical. Have a little bit more faith. You know, I think you're trying to plan things out like how's this going to happen how am I going to meet somebody or or will I ever meet somebody and if so what's it going to look like and and ha how will I like it and what will I do and I, I think you got to let all that go I think you have just have to have a little bit of faith and let let things take take it's the course it's going to take let it flow let this energy flow for you Okay, just drop that card so hang on one second okay you got weasel be silent pay attention and simply observe with your eyes ears and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you all right so that's again encouraging to use your intuition and, and you the moon here so something is hidden from you so they're just saying pay attention to the red flags i think whether it be red flags from a new relationship or red flags from the past situation whatever it is you walked away from it might not be completely over walrus remain vigilant about the current situation Mm. Pay attention to signs and omens and let them dictate your choices. Yeah. I feel like something that you, something, the situation you walked away from in the past is not completely over. Yeah, I feel like you, there's there's something here you might have to watch out for if it's a legal situation or something I don't know there's no justice here so I don't want to go that far but it's again reminding you to pay attention to the red flags the high priestess is here saying use your intuition and the moon's here saying something is hidden from you so um, yeah whether this is new I mean, this could be new because you're you're very attractive right now. So maybe you're attracting somebody who's like I said, like this could be secret meetings. So maybe some you're attracting somebody who's already in a relationship. I don't know. Just be careful, pile one. Just be careful. All right, your love card is. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond evens. Okay. So this is just saying don't don't rush in. There's a lot of fast moving energy out there with the chariot and the knight of swords, knight of Michael up there. Um don't be impulsive. Take your time to get to know this person first, I feel. Um and see if they're really the right person for you. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the tea leaves and then I'll grab the Metatron card. I already pulled the Metatron card because I have to read from the book. So your tea leaves are taking a vacation.
medication, physically or mentally. All right, so maybe you're just so stressed or so sad, you just need a break. So do that if you can. And if you can't physically go somewhere, just maybe like unplug for a day. You know what I mean? Just do something just for you. Door, opportunities are waiting for you. Okay, so yeah. Like I said, somebody's coming in fast. Um, but I think that that's saying you're going to have a lot more than just one. All right, so your Metatron card is Lilac. Higher realms and magic, which sounds really amazing. So let's let's read. Oh, when did you stop believing in magic? <laughs> oh, see, this is talking about having faith again. As a child, you once knew that anything was possible, that dreams could come true, that spirit was real. Maybe you saw things you couldn't understand or failed to make grown-ups believe that what you could see was real. The fairies under the tree, the angel at the bed, or the relative in spirit sitting beside you. Or you may have a child in your life right now who could see, who can see and sense this. It may also be that your inner child needs to, re to rediscover this sense of wonder now too. Yeah, with the nostalgia card, this makes sense. So often we start believing that we start believing and then the heaviness of life can squash and diminish our abilities to believe in the magic and the happily ever after story. Disappointments, betrayals, loss, all leave their mark. And today you are asked once again to look up and wonder what is possible for you. So yeah, they are totally saying that you need to have a little bit more faith. Um, you have that six of cups up there that's feeling nostalgic, being more childlike. Go back to that inner child, that sense of wonder, and start start looking for fairies. You know, start looking for that for the impossible, and start having a little bit of faith, knowing that the angels are there, they are protecting you. They will find you someone who will make you feel amazing. Let's grab some um, charms and then we'll close it out. I'm trying not to grab too many. But you never know. Okay. So you have the chakra stone, which means you need to get back into balance. You need to open up and clear those chakras if you can. Um, I sent out some Reiki, so maybe that'll help a little bit. You do have... You do have... Um, two flowers here so something is definitely blooming you know seeds were planted and something's definitely going to bloom soon um, you have the purse which means um, pay attention to your finances you know I think uh, I'm not feeling that strongly um, but just be careful you're spending right now you have the clover, so um, luck is on your side. Um, you have the pineapple. And the pineapple to me represents um, standing tall, wear a crown. You know what I mean? Like, be the queen that you are. You're sweet on the inside. You're beautiful. So, uh, I say queen, but it could be king, too. You could wear your crown to be the king that you are. You know, step into your power. You know, stand tall. Have faith. Things are going to work out. And then you have uh, March. So I'm not sure what that is. It could be your birthday. It could be, um, you know, something important that's going to happen in March. But that is what I have for you, Pile 1. I hope it's helped in some way, shape, or form. Um, if it did, give the video a like, um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and until next time, love and light. Okay, pile two, if you chose